Okay, so the wig that I'm going to be installing is the Begin Again Posh Curl True Sculpt Bang Wig from Gorgeous Hair. I consider this hair a work wig. And every girl needs a work wig, okay? And by work wig, you know what I mean. I mean a wig that you could just throw right on your head and you're good to go. It is secure. It is cute. And it only takes one minute. That's the best kind of wig for work. So I'm so excited to show you guys this video. Let's get into the install, okay? This is going to be the fastest installation video you have ever watched in your life. So I have my bald cap here. And I'm going to throw it right on my head. To be honest, if I was running out the door, I wouldn't even put on a bald cap. I'm really just throwing it on to be fancy schmancy because a wig like this does not even need a bald cap. I'm literally going to throw this baby right on my head. All right, so we got our timer out. Just throw it right on. And boom, boom. So cute and just fire. This took me, I think we're still working with the minute. Now, this is the money shot right here. This is the money shot because for me, if I'm doing a wig like this, I need to make sure that the top is very realistic. There is a very small, very small portion of lace at the top so that it gives the wig that realistic look. This is why I say you need a work wig because I don't have to flat iron anything. I don't have to brush anything. I don't have to straighten anything. I don't have to add heat protectant. I don't need to blend. Oh, she's giving though. But she's she's giving though. Like, she's giving. Like, is you taking? Because she's giving though. Okay, okay. We all know I got too excited. <laughs> I could have definitely combed out that bang a little bit more. For the rare occasion that I have five minutes to do my hair, this is how I would wet it. Okay, so for curly hair like this, or for curly hair in general, you always want to go in with a denim in brush. Okay? No flat tooth, no nothing. Denim, period. I, I don't want to hear it. If it's not a denim in brush, I don't want to hear it. Like, <laughs> talk to yourself because it has to be a denim in my book, okay? So I have my water here and I have my Denman brush and we're just going to start wetting our hair and no I'm not really gonna apply any product until the end. That's just because with this hair I think a little to no product is perfect. It is so light. Like if you get this wig you will understand what I'm saying. The hair is so light. You don't need any product. Like product is gonna weigh this hair down at this point. Okay so yeah. The curls. The curls. You could just feel hair and know if it's good quality. Like you could just feel it. And like as I'm wetting it and combing it and scrunching it and doing all the cute stuff, I could just feel that this hair is good quality and that is what I need for a work wig. Can't have no synthetic wigs as your work wig, girl. You need something good quality that will last through them hard days. <laughs> through them hard long days. All right, guys, so boom, she's wet. She is in her prime right now. She's in her youth, like she woke up. What's good? She's ready to party. I'm gonna use a butter on this hair. Um, I'm gonna use my um, Talia Wajid Green Apple and Aloe Curl Definer, but I'm gonna use a little bit, like a really, really, really small amount. Like, you know when they say use a dime-sized amount? Like, I'm actually gonna use a dime-sized amount this time, okay? That's just because I feel like anything more than this on my hair is gonna weigh it down. What I'm doing right now is I'm doing a curl scrunch. So, you wanna do this whenever you're adding any kind of product to your hair. That's just because when you add the product to your hair and you scrunch it, it allows the curls to touch the product and also keep the shape. I'm going to go in with my Garnier Fructis Moroccan Sleek and Shine. You can never, ever go wrong with Garnier, especially on virgin hair. I think that it's super lightweight. It's just perfect for any kind of virgin hair that you have. I have a good amount of oil and I can apply way more than I did with the cream because it is so lightweight. Scrunch the bangay. And then boom. 
<laughs> we are good to go. Literally, I would honestly take my hair just like this and head right out the door. I would not put a blow dryer on it. I would honestly let it air dry in the car while I'm on my way to work. And by the time that I got to work, it would be 100% dry and good to go. So this is the finished result when the hair is all dry. And as you can see, it is literally gorgeous so cute like so even though it's a bang wig it's not a one hit wonder i promise <laughs> it's a two hit wonder <laughs> it's a two hit wonder okay and i say that because this wig has about two or three styles that you can do so the first one is leaving a little bit of the sides out and then putting the rest in a ponytail and as you guys can see it is so cute and it's really good for someone who wants the bang wig but doesn't want hair in their face all the time like me during my job yeah it looks cute when my hair is down but to get work done I need it out of my face if the ponytail is not working for you and you need something something that's given a little bit more you can definitely opt for a claw clip. The claw clip hairstyle is so cute and it looks even cuter with the bangs. I love the claw clip because it's another alternative for girls who don't want to wear their hair down. So yeah, I love this wig and I rate it a nine out of 10. I rated a nine out of 10. So yeah, get you a work wig. This is the one wig where I know I get my use out of every single time. <laughs> if anything, I overuse my work wig okay it's just so easy like how could you just not how could you not overwear it okay so yeah girl get you a work wig